Don't, don't put me on the... God, stop. Do you want to break a bottle? Hey party people, today I'm going to be using the scientific method to figure out why when you hit the top of a bo- <coughs> Why when you hit the top of a bottle, it breaks open from the bottom. Ow. Okay. Um. What's, what's going on, kids? Today, I've got... Beer. It's, it's not, it's not beer, it's water. I'm going to, I'm going to break it. Test. Okay, t test number one. Um, that didn't work. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a little harder. Ooh, I see the bubbles. This is really scary. I didn't think I'd be this scared. So it's not so so it's not working um, at all. Okay, so took a nap, drank more beer. <laughs> I was trying to break these and it just wasn't happening. There are two things I think I can test. Um, could be the bottle. I think these brown ones are like a little too thick, so it's not gonna happen. So, I have clear Corona lights. So I'm gonna try doing it with this. And if it's not the type of bottle, I think it's how strong um, I'm hitting. Okay, test number one with the Corona. Okay, so I'm quite weak. I'm gonna get a rubber mallet and just hope that works. Got a rubber mallet. Changing the bottle type didn't work. So, we're gonna try changing the amount of force hitting it. Test number one with the rubber mallet. That made a louder sound than it normally does. Three, two, one. I did it, everyone. The glass broke. So it was successful to to uh, break to break it with a mallet. Okay, so breaking the glass worked when I used the rubber mallet. So now I'd actually like to go back to the old brown ones and see if those will break open. Brown bottle test in three, two. All right. Ooh. So it seems the bottle type doesn't really matter too much. It's the force that really, that really matters. These brown bottles actually seem to make cleaner cuts. I really don't want to do this. Oh, that sucks. So... Izzy, look at Izzy, you got your sock from your room. Izzy, you got my sock. So I have, I have a test subject here to uh, to test the, the bottle breaking theory. Ouch! So, I hit my own hand. So folks, here's what she's doing wrong. Hold it around the neck of the bottle with a tight grip. And you're gonna... Don't... Hold on, hold on. You don't want to hold the bottle too hard because the way it breaks is a slight slip of it going down your hand and the water hitting the bottom of the bottle. You need a lot more force. I don't like this. Okay, okay. It's okay, Mom. Don't, don't fear, don't fear the glass. It's not gonna hurt you. You really just... I'm just not giving enough force, but it's because I don't want to. Okay, stop. Ah! Thank you. So the reason the bottle will blow up almost, no, okay. So the reason the bottom of the bottle gives out when you hit it from the top with a mallet 
is actually due to waves. A sudden vertical force at the top of the bottle creates a compression wave throughout the glass. This can be compared to stretching out a slinky and hitting one end of it and the wave travels all the way through the slinky. When the compression wave hits the bottom of the bottle, it comes back up as an expansion wave. This exchange causes a constant train of exchanging expansion and compression waves throughout the glass. Doing this creates bubbles at the very bottom of the bottle. It almost creates a vacuum so that for a brief moment in time, there isn't any water down there. Then when the bottle comes up and the water comes down, the water is actually coming down at 10 times the speed that it went up. So the force of the vacuum closing in on itself breaks open the bottom of the bottle. As you can see, I did a few tests, and what I've come to the conclusion of is the bottle does not matter as much as the force hitting the top of the bottle. It's probably possible to break the bottle with your hand, but it takes a lot more force than it would to just use a rubber mallet. And I'm weak! When you're holding the bottle by the neck and you hit down on top of it, what you're doing is you're pushing it down. So when you hit down on the top of it, the water moves up, and then that's how this vacuum is created. When it comes back down, you're moving the glass up. The water doesn't really move with it. It's just being acted on by like the glass. So when this comes up, the water hits the bottom and breaks through. So if you have a, if you have a really tight grip and you try and hit it, you know, nothing, nothing is going to happen. But if you let it go, If you let the glass slip a little bit, and then when it comes back up due to the reaction, it'll break through almost seamlessly. So the best thing to do if you really can't get it to break is to just get a little of the water inside on the neck of the bottle so that it'll slip a lot easier. Thank you for listening to my video and listening to me talk about breaking a bottle for however long this video is. All right.